Cool. Hi, Alfie. How are you? Hello, Jim. How are you? If you okay? Yeah, not too bad. Thanks so much. So uh, let, let's crack on and have a little chat about your new tour, which you're uh, heading out across the UK. Majority of it's in, in June, but you've now got some dates in July. I bet you can't wait to be uh, touring again. Absolutely. I love, I love touring. I love getting out on the road and seeing uh, fans from around the country and in Ireland as well. So, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I love touring. Yeah, absolutely. You've added some added some new dates, which is in Skegness, Southend, Tunbridge Wells, Bournemouth, Blackpool. How how do you create uh, your shows ready for for the tour? Um. Well, well, this is sort of a, a continuation from the previous tour, the Open Arms tour, um, and uh, so the show is similar, but we have a few changes, a few different songs that we're putting in there. Um, same band, same guys that I'll be working with. Um, yeah, it's just it's just a bit of preparation, few few new songs to learn, and that's about it, really. And 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 practice the terrible dance moves, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. And uh, this is off the back of your latest album, which released in October last year. For those who haven't heard it yet, tell us a little bit about the record as well. Yeah, it, the album the album's called uh, Open Arms, and it's a collection of Classic rock songs, um, but set with a uh, contemporary band and a full orchestra. So it has that sort of quite that big sort of cinematic sound with it being having that orchestral backing too. And uh, the 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 songs are beautiful, beautiful ballads. You know, strong, strong, strong rock ballads. You know that everybody will know. Yeah, most definitely. How, how what easy was it for you to create the the playlist of of songs you wanted to do your version of? Was there any tracks that uh, either didn't make it or ones that just didn't work for you? You know, I was very fortunate. We 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 came up with a fairly good list initially through management, myself and uh, the producer, and uh, the record label too. You know, they threw a few ideas in, um, and there was only really one song that didn't sort of make the list. Um, there was a, a Motley Crue song called Home Sweet Home, which is an, a very good, beautiful song, but recording wise, it didn't, it, it didn't write, didn't sort of do, do um, the album justice. So we left that off, but I think playing that live would be something that we could do. Yeah. Yeah. And with this tour coming up, is it going to be majorly the the tracks from from the open arms record or are you going back to 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 your previous records you know this 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 the structure of the show is basically a a journey through my life of music so i start off by um you know the last tour the open arms tour i started off with some italian song then i went into um songs that i listened to as a kid songs that were introduced to me by my father um, then into my operatic world, into my musical theatre world, my time with Michael Ball, yeah. and then um, some of my original stuff, and then straight into um, the open arms tracks. You know the the, uh, the the songs from the new album. Yeah, awesome. And and this record is the the first you've done on your own since 2018. What was it like recording just yourself rather than than doing records with with Michael? Michael um I love I mean I love I love both you know aspects of my career in that in that way I like to record with Michael we have great fun um but it is all, always nice to to do your own thing you know you you don't really have to lean, lean on someone else or get someone else's opinion on what they want to sing as well so it's it's just in, it's just different ball game really you know yeah, yeah, for sure. And uh, you've got a busy year ahead because not only have you, have you got this tour, but you're back playing Jean Valjean in Le Mis towards the end of this year in an, in an arena tour. But you can't wait to be doing that again. I love Le Mis. It's a show that has been obviously a huge part of my life. Um, I've been seeing it for over, oh God, I don't know, 13, 13 years, 14 mm. years now, something. It's... it's uh, it's pretty special. So getting the chance to do it again, to, to go back into the show and play the, the 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 size of arenas and a larger audience and see the reaction of, of, of that will be spectacular. It'll remind me of my time when I did the 25th anniversary, I'm sure. 
Yeah, yeah, definitely. And is when you go back into the role, is it just going to come back to you naturally, do you think? Or are you going to have to uh, do some rehearsals and some practice to to get the groove back on again? No, I mean, it's it's it's, it's the majority of the production is there in, in, in me already. The music is, mm. is, is solid, but I will have to... Um, I will have to uh, train up for it a little bit more and 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 get it and get it in properly and do it justice. I mean, it, it's it's like anything; you have to become match fit to do it. Mm-hmm. So that's uh, that's the process I'll be going through. Yeah, great stuff. You you like putting music out fairly regularly as well, with a whole bunch of albums of yours since your your first back in two thousand and six. Have you started thinking towards the next record now? I'm always thinking of ideas for records. Uh, ever since day one, I've been sort of coming up with, with ideas that that you know that that, that would be a good album. This would be a good album. Uh, you know, there's one goal I would really, really love to to make, and that is to be in a place where I could release my own music. Um, mm. uh, you know, release a full album of uh, of my own songs. You know, songs that I've worked, you know, written and co-written written with, 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 with some wonderful artists that I have been doing in the past so that would be a nice goal and for them to be well, well received and and uh, successful Yeah, have you have you started started writing your own music now then or is that something you yeah. just want to do in the future? No, I've, I've, I've done a few a few things um, over the last few years but I, I do like writing I like the process and I do like coming up with the with the the rhythms, the melodies, the lyrics—it's—it's it's all, it's all. But but working with other people who are uh, extremely good at that, you learn so much from you know. So it's it's nice to collaborate with other people, with other singer songwriters. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And and when it comes to putting the track list together for your for your records, how easy do you, do you find it to cut it down from a big long list of tracks you want to do down to the ones that make it? Well, it, that's that's basically just playing the songs over and over again and listening to how well they sit side by side. Mm. You know, um, do they complement each other? Do they have a good flow? Does the album run? Does it have different um, uh, elements to it? It's basically like imagining you're doing a live concert and you want the show to have a a progression in it. You know, so you know, ups and downs, happy moments, sad moments, and that sort of thing. So it's it's the, it's a similar sort of mindset. Is there any tracks that you 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 can think of that you really want to do your own version of, but you just haven't got round to to doing it yet? Um, I mean, uh, there there are lots of songs that I would love to love to do versions of, you know, my own arrangements of them. Mm-hmm. Um, but nothing comes to mind just yet. I mean, I've got um, my my I have books and books of lists of of songs that I could I could reel off for you but uh yeah that would that'd take up the whole afternoon probably. <laughs> yeah and is, is there any that you've tried that <laughs> have simply just not worked for you well yeah I, I, we 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 like I said the for this particular album the Motley Crue song mm. um didn't quite work you know um even vocally for me it didn't really sit well as a recorded track um, and yeah, there's songs out there that I that I've tried to do and think, oh, I could I could really knock the socks off that one. I could really do that very well. And then when you've tried it and you've done it, you think, oh no, actually, it doesn't suit me. I don't really want to. You know, it's not it's not something that I that I, I like singing. And um, that happens not just in my solo stuff, but in the stuff that me and Michael do. We'll we'll both. Mm-hmm. That we could do a certain song or we could do a certain arrangement of a song and 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 when we come down to it it doesn't work so we we bin it great stuff alfie it's been a pleasure having a chat with you nice to talk to you too all the very best to you